Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin, and today we have a, a bit of review and bit of a strap show here. So, um, talking about these Citizen EcoZilla strap adapters, kindly sent over by this company here. Not sure how to pronounce it, but uh, they sent over two of them. So I'm going to be giving away one of these uh, in a week from today. And I might give away this one in the future as well, but I will be giving away this one here. It's the complete kit. Uh, let me show you here real quick what's in here. Uh, these are available on Amazon as well. I'll leave a link in the description if you'd like to purchase one for yourself. You can choose just the adapter. Uh, this bracelet, they have an engineer style bracelet, and I think they have some straps as well, I forgot. But you get this bracelet sizing tool spring bar tool and then a screwdriver uh, to remove the screws from the back of the case here. All right, so let's put this back off to the side. I have been wearing this for a, a couple days. Um, the main point is that it's heavy, um, but it's solid. It has split pins and uh, they, they seem to be well made. They fit in there, uh, no slop. So. Let me show it to you on my wrist uh, in the right orientation here. Crown is on the left side and um, 237 grams size for my six and a half inch wrist on this bracelet. And I happen to have some uh, Zulu straps here. A Vario sent these over a while ago along with some strap adapters for a G-Shock. And they just happen to be 24 millimeters, which will work on here. And then this, Tom sent over. Um, he just donated this to me, I guess, or just gave them to me. So we'll try these on there. And then this came with a Van Banner Leah that I purchased a while ago. It was like a spare strap, so I just kept it. Uh, at one point, I thought I would maybe do something like this. So we'll see how that looks. So anyway, let's get this on wrist. Have the scale over there off to the left. So it's um, it's a big watch. I, I prefer it on factory straps, which I don't know what I did with those. I gotta find them. Uh, but anyway, here's a look at it. So it's, it's a big, thick, heavy watch head by itself, and then the bracelet's um, you know heavy as well. So actually, I don't know how much the bracelet weighs by itself, but. This thing weighs, again, 237 grams. Hopefully you can read that. If not, I'll take my word for it. 237 grams. Let's see what the bracelet weighs by itself. I might actually pause the video and see if I can find the factory straps. Um, spring bars are not captive on this, but they are the easy, quick spring bars. So that is 76 grams by itself, that bracelet. From memory, I think this is about 185 grams on the rubber strap. So these strap adapters, of course, add weight. So that's 161 grams just with the case head and these strap adapters. All right, I got to keep a little better track of my stuff, but I did find the factory straps. So let's just weigh these real quick. 42 grams. All right, let's um, let's put it on the mesh. I don't know if I'm gonna weigh any more stuff or not. You know, let's just weigh the straps real quick. 46 grams. Uh, you can keep track of the weights at home. I already forgot the weight of the bracelet. And then a Zulu is 22 grams. And then the leather, again, 22 grams. Lost the spring bar. Okay, 75 grams. Could not remember that. And just because I forgot, 41 grams on the rubber. So the NATO or the leather will be the lightest combination. So, all right, let's put that off to the side and we'll put this on the mesh. Mesh strap. Right there. Remember what goes on top or bottom? I think this one goes here. So these all do have quick 
uh, spring bars here, quick attach, quick release, whatever you want to call these things. I'm going to need to adjust that probably. I'll just throw it on for the video's sake. Maybe I'll adjust it off camera. Oops, come on. Okay, let's try this. Now let's just adjust it real quick here. Just gonna take a screwdriver and pry on this. Hopefully I don't break that. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Probably about right there. All right, a little bit tighter. Hopefully that'll be good. Things always give me trouble. Ah, dang it. I didn't have it on there. Yep. Hook. There we go. Guess I could have tightened a little bit more yet. So anyway, there we go on the mesh. Probably not the combination you've ever seen before. I think it looks kind of good. No, I'm going to pause it and uh, get it tightened down a little bit more here. All right, there we go. I have it tightened all the way. Probably a little bit too tight, but anyway, you get the idea here. Kind of a mix of styles. This is kind of a, you know, I would take this as being dressy and uh, fancy looking and uh, this thing, not so much. Let me know in the comment section which one is your favorite combination. And also, while you're uh, down there, hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet. Maybe the leather will be the strangest combination. So let's do the leather next. Um, and for the giveaway, I'll put a link to the video that is the giveaway video. Just uh, go comment on that video and then uh, subscribe as well for the giveaway. Or subscribe just because. Just because if you already have 100 subscriptions, another one's not going to hurt. Um, you know, I kind of like this. It, it's a little weird, but uh, the hardware doesn't really match. But uh, besides that, it, um, I don't know, it might kind of work. Maybe not. Maybe you're just appalled by this combination, but it's a little fun. Time to sound... I can't remember. So yeah, I have a small wrist. I feel like I have this on upside down, don't I? Yeah, I do have it on upside down. This, this watch. Tron on the wrong side always throws me off. There we go. Let's try this again. Good thing they're quick release. There we go, that feels a little better. I could probably tighten it all the way down. Yeah, there we go. Kind of a weird combination as well, but um, I don't know. Now you've seen it. Now you've seen an Ecozilla on a leather strap. Lastly, we'll go to the Natos. Oh, shoot. I don't have a spring bar for that, do I? 
Hmm. Well, I know what I can do. I can use these spring bars. Didn't plan that one out very well. Actually, the natos might not work, so we'll find that out in a second. I'm sorry, Zulu straps. Oh, let's do this one. Oh, that one's stretchy. Let's see if this works. It does not. All right. I think this one's pretty thick too. Not so much for that idea. This stretchy one might work. Not so much for putting a NATO on the Ecozilla. It's a little bit too thick and the clearance between the spring bar and the case head's not quite enough but the stretchy one uh, is able to be put on here. So let's try this one on wrist. Um, I might not even be able to get it down tight enough. Yeah, I guess I can. It's just really weird because this strap is probably quite light. It's stretchy, so this thing... Nope, it's not flopping around, so it kind of works. Stretchy Zulu strap with the black hardware. All the hardware is black on this because it's meant to go with a um, G-Shock square, which is black, so that makes sense. Yeah, anyway. This kind of works. So let me know what your favorite combination is here and uh, again I'll be doing a giveaway for one of these uh, next Saturday and then maybe sometime in the future I'll give these away I'm not really sure maybe I'll just keep with the watch I'm trying to decide if I'm going to sell this watch or not um, I think I'm just going to keep it as it always puts a smile on my face and you know what? I got it upside down too don't I <sighs> maybe I do need to sell it maybe I'm not smart enough to uh, keep this watch That way, this way, pull it through, there we go. You can almost uh, use this like a Really a slingshot, but you could sling this at someone, I guess, or whip it around. I don't know. Not advocating that by any means, but if you had to. There we go. All right. Now I have the crown facing the correct way. Well, that will conclude this video. Um, as always, Thank you for your time and thank you for watching. And uh, please comment below if you like it on this stretchy Zulu, on the leather, the mesh, or the uh, this bracelet here from Shang Puli. And like I said, I'll leave a link to their Amazon site um, if you want to pick up one of these strap adapters for yourself.